What is up guys, FeverStrikeHD here bringing you another new series. I know you guys are going to be like, where's Chesterfield, where's Newcastle, but this is a new series combining Ultimate Team and Career Mode. I think you guys will like it. And I'm going to put the description of basically what it is in the uh, description down below. So I'll put that in every episode, so if you guys are new, you can check it out. But what the series is, I decided, decided <clears throat> to start out with a full team of players. And uh... I actually decided to choose Jeju United, so it's uh, got that career mode feel. And each season will consist of ten games, and if I get promoted, we'll say like in five games, and move on up a division, then I have to play five more games to complete the season. After each season, the players will age one year. I'll be keeping track of that, and I'll show you guys how they age. Players who reach 35, they must retire at the end of their contract, which means once their contracts on their card are run out, they can no longer play for the squad. After five games are played in a season, the transfer market is open, and this is the time where I can bring new players in, but the players I must, they must be under the age of 24, and have a potential in career mode of <clears throat> above 75 if a bronze player, above 78 if a silver player, and above 82 if a gold player. So it, it brings in the career mode challenge. And once I play the fifth game, I will have 10 minutes, I'll time myself and put it in the top corner, to search for any last players that I want to sign, and that'll serve as a transfer deadline day. Transfer window will also be opening at the beginning of each season, except for the first one, and the transfer market will end after the second game, and after the second game, I get 10 minutes to serve the transfer deadline day. And you guys are going to be like, what about the growth system? Well, the growth system is tricky, but it will cause a, a decent amount of coins. After each season, I will run through all the players and see how well they performed, well or not, and see if they deserve a boost. I will take into account players' age to see if they have room to grow. If I believe a player performed well and has room to grow, then I will have the ability to upgrade his attributes for the next season. Uh, that means I can put a pace card, shooting, passing, dribbling, defending, or heading card on them. Uh, it will be bronze, so I have to put it on every single one of them for the uh, for every game. So I have to put it on that person every single game for the new one. And then you guys are probably going to think, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, I have something in my throat. But what about the scouting system? Well, this one took me a little time to think of, but I think I have the answer. There's really no way I can scout, I guess, a player, so instead I go on the market any time during the season to look for prospects. But there is a catch. I must pick up the player for less than 200 coins if it's a bronze player, less than 200 if it's a non-rare silver, less than 300 if it's a rare silver, less than 350 if a non-rare gold, and less than 650 if a rare gold. Another thing is the players must be 18 years or under, and scouted players can increase faster than players I, I so and call quote-unquote transfer for. For example, if I believe the scouted player play well in the season then I can choose to use a bronze all attribute card or even a silver card so that is what this series is basically going to consist of it is career mode and <clears throat> excuse me ultimate team combined so it's like a new whole series so it'll cater to you guys who are fans of <clears throat> ultimate team and of career mode so I think you guys will really like it but we're getting into opening the starting pack and this is the team I was dealt with I do Decide to send some players to the squad, and also I forgot to mention uh, for scouted players, for people who you think I should shine, sh should shine, should sign, then you guys definitely put them in the comments because these people are also going to be these are going to be people that I pick up are going to be good in career mode as well, not just ultimate team but in career mode. So they're going to be good in both. So I'll help you find people who are good for your career mode and good for your ultimate team. So it's a win-win for both of you for both sides. If you guys like ultimate team or for you guys like career mode, it's a win-win for both. But uh, as you can see, I'm messing around with this squad, you know, just to see who I can sell off for a little bit more money. And uh, I do trade over the Jeju, I feel, I think I'm pronouncing it right, it's in the Sonata K League. Is it the Jeju or Jeju? Uh, someone correct me if I'm saying it wrong, but Jeju United team. I decided to pick them because they actually, in the starting lineup, they have two four-star skillers. And, you know, they just have some uh, decent team to uh, start with overall. So uh, I decided to go with them as, uh, I guess, the quote-unquote team that I will be playing as throughout this ultimate career, which is what this series will be called. You see, I get a reward pack for winning that game, and uh, if you guys go back, you saw the game, picked Messi. The difficulty was semi-pro. I don't know if you can change it, but uh, I ended up winning 3-0. I didn't want to show it because it was just such an easy game. I was 
basically going for long shots the whole time, you know, just get back in the feel of career mode. So in this pack, I really get no one. I thought this guy from Marseille was going to go for a decent amount, but unfortunately, he does not. So, uh, you know, maybe if I can sell a couple of these players on and get a little bit more coins for, I guess, the quote-unquote transfer market coming up. But uh, after we send all these players to the club, I'm going to transfer over the whole Jeju United team, and you will see the team that I decided to put together. Once we go over, sorry, this might take a little while because, uh, I don't know, I just wasn't paying attention there, I guess. But here is the team. I'll run through every single person for you guys. We are going to obviously start out with the goalkeeper, who he's got two-star weak foot, one-star skill moves like every goalkeeper, but he's got very decent stats for a bronze goalkeeper. Uh, 800 coins I paid for him. I transferred over, but it says the coins I bought for him. Juan Ku Chu, uh, I picked him up. Three-star weak foot, two-star skill move, 450 coins bought him for in the formation. Very, very good player. Uh, ban Suk Oh, I'm gonna probably butcher these pronunciations, but he got three star weak foot, two star skill moves, 200 coins, very cheap, decently good player. This guy, Yong Nam Kwan, three star weak foot, two star skill moves, 200 coins, and he actually has decent long shots as well. So great player. Wan Sia Jang is my left back. He has got great free kicks, 200 coins for him, three star weak foot, two star skill moves, and my right mid, Quang Ho Jan. Four, five star weak foot, two star skill move, 200 coins for him. Uh, Siung Bum Oh Ho, two star weak foot, two star skill moves, 1,500 for him because he is just amazing. Look at those stats, great long shots. Jin Hyun Song, 350 coins for him, absolute steal, four star weak foot, four star skill moves, amazing player. GR, uh, let, uh, three star weak foot, three star skill move, 200 coins, great player. Player as well. Su Il Kang, the most expensive, 6,900. Three star weak foot, four star skill moves. Air Japes knows this guy, he is unbelievable. And then Santos, three star skill moves, three star weak foot, 200 coins. You can see some people are in the center forward and, you know, left wing and all that, but they still do get nine chem. As you can see, I have 99 chemistry with that team. So, what we're going to do. This is not my real account or my main account that I'm using it on. It is, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, the Glory Square. So unfortunately, we cannot play online seasons because I don't have uh, full online. I have Xbox Live because it's a silver account. In silver accounts, you can only trade and play single player games. So you can't play online, unfortunately. So until I, you know, have enough money or get um, one of you guys is great enough to donate a you know monthly card to me then I will definitely play online games with this because it is going to be a fun series but I'm just showing you everyone who we play in this first uh, Division 5 Stoke City, Montpelier, Ruben Kazan, St FC uh, Stuttgart, Bordeaux, Sunderland, Marseille, Genoa, Hamburger, and Hanover are all the people we potentially play. The difficulties that is on are pretty much all professional and world class so the professional games I should win easily and the world class games I should also win pretty decently so we do get into the first match and if you guys can remember it is against Stoke and unfortunately it is on professional so you know it's gonna be a pretty <laughs> a good game for me to uh, <clears throat> get back in the swing of things pretty much so we're going to play the game and uh, like I said I was gonna show you the in-game stats of everyone here's the in-game stats of my right back you know not the greatest stats but uh, he does have some good slide tackle and stand tackling. Uh, like I said, three-star weak foot, two-star skill moves. His physical attributes are probably the best uh, aspect about him. Very good. My center back coming up here, he actually has very decent heading. But uh, besides that, you can see it's pretty much all red and then uh, oranges. So not too great. But this guy, you know, he, he gets the job done. He's pretty decent. Uh, he doesn't really even have good physical stats. Uh, I think if I, if you guys, the audio might have messed up right there. I apologize if it did. But that was our other center back. He has really, really good uh, stats uh, overall, pretty much, if you can see. <laughs> I'm going to watch this back, but if the audio messes up, I'll keep it in because, you know, it's a mess up and it'll be fun. But this is what I was saying. My left back, he's a great free kick accuracy. He's got good long shots, good shot power as well. Um, so, you know, this guy is going to be good. And uh, 93 jumping, which is just amazing for a left back as well. Getting into the right mid, who has the four-star weak foot. He's got uh, pretty much red and orange stats. So, you know, 
okay, but that five-star weak foot is what really shines out. And then decent uh, physical stats in 12. Oh, Sung Bum, this guy's amazing. Uh, 69 long shots, dirty talk to me, Japes. 71 shot power, so great, great long shots. Seven, uh, 68 volley, which is not too bad. He is 31, I noticed, though, so he's quite old. 80 balance and 85 strength, so great player to have in the center mid. And we have our four-star skiller. Decent free kicks, actually very decent long shots. So you can see his skill attributes are pretty decent overall. Uh, you get over to, obviously, his player information, four-star weak, four-star skills. His physical stats, he is very good in physical stats. High agility, high acceleration, high sprint speed. And his mental stats, I just show those, you know. People like to see him. Jar, who is my left mid, has also great long shots and great shot power. Uh, you can see some yellows, uh, some oranges, not many reds. Three-star skill moves, three-star weak foot as well. And then he's got pretty high agility and then decent strength, acceleration, sprint speed, and all that. Then we get into Kang Soo Il, who is very, very good. Plays much better than these stats suggest. You can see it looks to be all orange and red he's got 71 volleys though which is amazing four star skills three star weak foot and then his physical attributes he's very he's decently strong you know very fast so great player and then the last player santos he's got uh you know almost a lot of um are uh, yellow a couple of reds in there but uh only a few oranges three star weak foot three star skill move his physicals are amazing, 95 balance, 80 sprint speed, 80 acceleration, really, really good player. So like I said, I was going to show you the in-game stats of all my players. Let me back out, we get into the, literally right off the bat, in the sixth minute, it is Song Ji Hwan, the four-star skill, going to show it off and blast one into the back of the net, putting us up one to nothing. Beautiful little, is that the Megidi spin or the top stop and turn? Please uh, let me know because I didn't remember you guys were chewing me out for that. So it goes into halftime being 1 to nothing. And you know what? It's going to go into full time being 1 to nothing. I was just trying to rip long shots. I knew I was going to usually probably win this game. So I should have scored a couple more goals to get a little bit more coins. But, you know, why not just uh, try to rip long shots and get some uh, really good goals for you guys? So we get 516 coins from that victory. And then you see the uh, nine games remaining, we've got three points, 12 points to move up and 15 points to get the title. We want that title because we get 3,000 coins if we win it. So always a plus to get that. <clears throat> and then we get this right after. Spread it up for you guys. But here we get, we have lost connection to the EA servers and thank God it happened after the game. So I was still thinking, I was like, all right, Maybe we might not get the win for that. Do we have to play it again? So I do fast forward this. I have to sign back into the EA servers. And then I have to go all the way back to Ultimate Team and get in. And I was like, all right, please, come on, please give me the win. Please give me the coins. You know, <clears throat> be nice to me. And as you can see, we do have them. And I decided to pick up the Jeju United badge and home and away kit so you know it feels like the real team so you know why not just pick them up and make it feel like the real team like i said so if you guys leave a like and thumbs up the fuck out of this first episode because i think this is going to be a great series it would mean a lot if you guys aren't subscribed highly recommend that you do if you guys think the series is going to be great just please stick along for the ride with me because i think it'll be awesome so this has been fever strike hd and i will see you guys later peace